Hi, this is Alejandra Castillo. I hope you're safe. I'm going to be talking about the impact of COVID-19 on real estate, and I'm going to be answering the million dollar question. Will a recession create a housing crisis? I want to start off by saying that change leads to confusion and confusion leads to fear. And when we feel fear, it doesn't allow us to think logical. That's why it's so important that we understand the facts. So in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why we're not going through a housing crisis. Number one. This is not like 2008, this is more like 911. Coronavirus has also generated fear among the general public. Back then, people avoided crowds as they believe another terrorist attack could happen, and today they're acting alike to avoid getting sick. And even the same parts of the economy were back then and are today under pressure. Airlines, restaurants, hospitality, and entertainment. In these graphs, you can see how the housing market behaved when there was a huge stock market correction. And you can see the difference of 911 and 2008. Number two, and one of the reasons this is not like 2008, it's because people learned the lesson and they're now more conservative. Back then, they were taking money out of the houses that you couldn't believe, they were using the houses like ATM, and they were taking the cash out of an appreciating asset and putting it into yachts, boats, jet skis, new cars, and lavish vacations. In total, during that period of time, they took $824 billion in home equity. In this graph, you can see the difference. In the last three years, people have done a fraction of that with $232 billion, which sounds like a lot of money, but when you compare it to the $824 billion right before the crash of 2008, there's a huge difference. There's a difference of $500 billion plus. So right now, there is more equity. Number three. As I said, homeowners are now more conservative. 37% of the homes in the United States have no mortgage on them, so we don't have to worry about those people facing a challenge to pay their mortgage. Of the remaining 63% of the homes in the United States, about a quarter of them have over 50% equity. So this means that over 50% of the homes in the United States have over 50% of equity. And that is the reason why the housing market today can withstand a situation like this and it couldn't back in 2008. It is also important to point out that a recession does not equal a housing crisis. An event cycle does not mean a crash of the financial system. I'm going to share this graph where you can see that in three of the last five recessions, home prices have actually appreciated. Goldman Sachs and other financial institutions predict that we will see a sharp decline in the second quarter of the year, and it of course will depend on the course of the pandemic. And again, this is not like 2008, that it took us three to four years to come back to normal. They're expecting a quick recovery instead. As you can see in this graph, major financial institutions are calling for a V-type recovery. Number four, the government learned the lesson as well and they're doing things differently this time. FHA, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have suspended foreclosures for at least 60 days. And this is a response to the challenge we're facing with the coronavirus. Therefore, we don't expect to see a big wave of foreclosures. And last, mortgage interest rates are the lowest they've been in five decades. So it is a perfect time to buy and remember, everybody needs a home. In this graph, you can see interest rates over time, and you can see that today's is the lowest they've been in five decades. I hope with this video, it is now clear that we're not going through a housing crisis. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you until next time. Stay home, stay safe. Bye.